Isn't it great to have a smaller lens when you're shooting? What if I tell you that you're going to have a zoom range of 7200 and it comes with a macro function? Introducing you the Sony 7200 F4 Mark II with macro. So in this video, we're going to dive into the world of telephoto lenses and compare the brand new Sony 7200 F4 Mark II with the previous Mark I versions. We'll discuss various aspects including design, optical quality, autofocus performance, vignetting, distortions, focus breathings, so on and so forth. And of course, bokeh. Let's dive in. Alright then, let's begin with the design and economics of the Sony 7200 F4 Mark II. The first thing noticeable difference is the size. The new version is 149mm long compared to 175mm of the Mark 1 version. However, the Mark 2 versions extend to 204mm when zoomed to 200mm focal length, while the Mark 1 versions remain at 175mm. Surprisingly, the Mark 2 version is slightly lighter, weighing around 40g lesser than its predecessor. Next up, the focus and zoom rings are pretty well damp and smooth. As a G lenses, it's dust resistant and moist resistance, assuring durability in challenging shooting conditions. Additionally, there are additional buttons such as full-time DMF for manual focusing in AFC modes, an extra mode for optical image stabilizations, mode 3 for framing stability when shooting moving subjects, a zoom lock switch to prevent unwanted lens extension and extra focus range limiter for macro mode. Overall, I would say the Mark II version features several updates in a more compact size compared to its predecessor. Alright, moving on to the optical quality, the Sony 7200 F4 II delivers impressive performance. According to the specifications, it offers better corner to corner sharpness and quality of bokeh. So in this video, we're going to do some tests with this lens. Of course, we're going to have some fun in some practical photo shoots and video shoots with our lovely friends, Ashley. As you can see, the new 7200 f4 lens is incredibly sharp at both focal lengths. Vignetting and chromatic aberrations, which can be concerned with telephoto lenses, are well controlled in this new 7200 f4 Mark II. The lens produces minimal vignetting, even at wider apertures, and improves further when stopped down to f5.6 onwards. So when we add the 2x teleconverter, we do lose some sharpness from the center to the edge. The image also becomes slightly darker with some color cuts. It's definitely worth considering that you can achieve a 400mm reach with just one small converter like this. The only downside is that the 2x teleconverter reduces the maximum apertures from f4 to f8, resulting in a huge loss of 2 stop of lights. Now let's talk about bokeh. The F4 lenses are not typically known for their bokeh quality, but the Sony 7200 F4 Mark II delivers decent bokeh, I would say. There's a distinct onion ring as effects around the bokeh and there's some cropping bokeh at the corner, like due to the night blaze aperture. However, if you move closer to the subjects because of the macro functions, especially in the macro focal distance, you can achieve smooth and beautiful bokeh with this lens. Speaking of macro functions, one of the highlights of the Sony 7200 F4 Mark II is the close focus capability. This new version allows you to get extremely close up with your subject 
capturing stunning details with a minimal focus distance of 0.26 to 0.42m. Compared to a 1 to 1 meter of the Mark 1 versions, this is an amazing feature as it provides extra flexibility for macro shots without need for another macro lens. It reminds me of the 7200 f2.8 GM Mark II which also offers a very close focus distance. But of course not as close as this. Another pleasant surprise with this lens is almost perfectly par focus, meaning the focus remaining consistent when zooming from 7200 or 200 to 70. The Mark 1 version shares the same characteristics. Moving on to autofocus performance, I don't think Sony will let us down. However, I did some quick tests. The quick autofocus test, according to the specifications of Sony 200F4 Mark II, incorporates XD Linear Motor technology providing 20% faster autofocus compared to a Mark 1 version. In our test, both lenses performed closely. I wouldn't tell a big difference, so good job Sony. Alright, now let's talk about focus breeding, which is an important consideration for video shootings. Both Mark 1 and Mark 2 version did a good job in minimal focus breeding. I personally don't find any noticeable difference between that. Overall, I believe the new Sony 7200 F4 Mark II is definitely a great option for those who are looking for a zoom lens that offers macro capability. It is a fantastic opportunity to have both features in one lens. If you already own a Mark I version, you might consider a few factors before upgrading. First, do you really need a shorter lens since both the versions have a similar weight? Secondly, do you require that macro features if you have already owned a macro lens? I hope this video helps you and if you do feel this video helpful, feel free to like, subscribe and share this video. And as always, create and have fun. I'll see you guys in the next video.